It's amazing, isn't it? Ten years, and when I think about what we got entered in the first years, you know, it was in the days when you had pasta, which went through a great cluggy clunk in the middle of the pot. So now, the, the, it's just come on incredibly. The foods that are entered, the quality is amazing. You wouldn't know them from regular foods. Innovation is great. So many new and exciting products. Fish protein noodles. I mean, where would you ever have expected to get that? Free from gluten. Wonderful, isn't it? Just uh, unbelievable what's happened in 10 years. Interestingly, when we first started, what everyone was keen on was staples. So it was all about bread and it was all about pasta and it was about cakes and biscuits. The things that you really need to get on the shelves. But over the last couple of years, and particularly this year, but the really exciting, interesting areas are food to go. Huge, also huge in mainstream food, not just in free farm, food to go. Um, innovation, some really exciting things this year. And no top 14, that was the really good one. We decided to do that, no top 14 allergies. Oh my God, will we get any entries for that? We thought we got 10 to 15, that'd be good. We got 55 entries. No Tom 14 is literally excluding all of the major allergens. That is milk and eggs and wheat and soya and uh, fish and mustard and celery. All the ones that are uh, by the EU have been said are the top 14 and which have to be declared on any bit of packaging. The most exciting moment is always who gets Marble Mo? Marble Mo is this funny little Greek statue of a legless, headless, armless Greek god. How inappropriate for a food award, but everybody loves him. He goes to live with them for a year, and there's huge excitement about who is going to get Marble Mo for the year.